ladies and gentlemen welcome again in unit 6 <coughs> the last part <coughs> Sorry. listening and reading the meaning of life the businessman and the fisherman the meaning of life okay the fisherman and the businessman an American businessman was on holiday in a fishing village in the south of Mexico one morning he met a young fisherman with a small boat full of lovely yellowfin tuna fish what beautiful tuna the American exclaimed okay one look at the pictures and read the introduction to the story of the businessman and the fisherman answer the questions look at these photos okay <clears throat> where was the businessman who did he meet did he like the fish what did he say what nationality were the two men to tapes tape script 6.11 close your box and listen to the conversation who did you think has the best life let's listen to tape script 6.11 Tape script 6.11 The Businessman and the Fisherman Good morning. What beautiful tuna. How long did it take to catch them? Oh, about two hours. Only two hours? Amazing. Why didn't you fish for longer and catch more? <laughs> I didn't want to fish for longer. With this, I have enough fish for my family. But what do you do with the rest of your day? Aren't you bored? <laughs> I'm never bored. I get up late, play with my children, watch football, and take a siesta with my wife. Sometimes in the evenings I walk to the village to see my friends, play the guitar, and sing some songs. Really? That's all you do? Look, I am a very successful businessman. I went to Harvard University and I study business. Um, I can help you. Fish for four hours every day and sell the extra fish you catch. But... Uh, then you can buy a bigger boat, catch more and earn more money. But... Then uh, buy a second boat, a third, and, and so on, until you have a big fleet of fishing boats. But... And you uh, can export the fish and leave this village and move to Mexico City or LA or New York and open a fishing business. Okay, okay, okay. But how long will all this take? Uh, let me think. Um, probably about 15 to 20 years. 15 to 20 years? And then what, senor? <laughs> Why, that's the exciting part. You can sell your business and become very rich. A millionaire. A millionaire? Really? But what do I do with all the money? Well, let me think. Um, I know, you can stop work and uh, move to a lovely old fishing village where you can sleep late, play with your grandchildren, watch football, take a siesta with your wife, and walk to the village in the evenings where you can play the guitar and sing with your friends all you want. Hmm. Well... Did you catch many fish? <laughs> I caught enough for us today and tomorrow and also some for this gentleman. <laughs> Please, senor, have some of my beautiful fish. Goodbye, senor. Come on, children. Let's go home. Okay. <clears throat> Vocabulary. Uh, okay, uh, by the way, we should discuss uh, these questions and more on whatsapp during the discussion uh, tape script 6.11 listen again and check okay <coughs> five retell the story around the class 
you retell the story around the class يعني أعد قراءة القصة إلما للصف one of you should tell the class about the conversation that you have listened to now here we have questions what do you think do you think the fisherman follows the business man's advice why why not what is the moral of this story okay money makes the world go round understand what really matters in life don't listen to other people's advice work more earn more okay so let's discuss this please on whatsapp now vocabulary and listening describing feelings match these feelings to the pictures annoyed bored excited interested tired worried okay ed and ing adjectives some adjectives can end in both ed and ing <coughs> يعني كل من الصفات بالامكان انه ينتهي ب اي ان جي او اي دي اوكي ليتس ليسن او ليرن مور اباوت ذيس كايندز اوف ادجكتيفز جراما اكسبلانيشن ادجكتيفز ذات اند ان اي دي اكزامبل بورد انترستد اند ادجكتيفز ذات اند ان اي ان جي اكزامبل boring interesting or often confused يعني يقول انه غالبا ما مربكه ed adjectives adjectives that end in ed generally describe emotions emotions اللي هي العواطف they tell us how people feel okay for example i was so bored in that lesson i almost fell asleep he was surprised to see helen after all those days years she was really tired and went to bed early okay so bored described bored surprised tired all these are adjectives and in ed because they describe emotions واضح شلون تصف العواطف الصفة إذا انتهت بإيدي تصف العاطفة اي ان جي ادجكتيفز ادجكتيفز ذات اند ان اي ان جي جنرالي ديسكرايب ذي ثينك ذات كاوز ذي ايموشن ا بورينج ليسن ميك يو فيل بورد واضح شلون يعني اغلب شيء انه بورد الايدي تستخدم مع العاقل طبعا مع ليش للمشاعر والاحاسيس واضح شلون للعاقل <coughs> For example, here, have you seen that film? It's really frightening. Magal, it's really frightened. واضح شلون؟ ليش لأن frightening the cause واضح شلون of the emotion. زين. I could listen to her for hours. She's so interesting. I can't sleep. That noise is really annoying. Here are some adjectives that can have both an ed and an ing form. يعني هم اثنينهم صفات annoyed, annoying. Both are adjectives. But annoyed for the emotion, okay? While annoying for the about the reason behind the emotion. Bored, boring. Confusing, uh, confused, confusing, disappointed, disappointing, excited, exciting, frightened, frightening, interested, interesting, surprised, surprising, tired, tiring, worried, worrying, and so on. Okay. 
so now uh, this is this as a homework for you depending on the grammar that we talked about work with a partner complete the conversation with ed and ing adjectives from exercise 3 both of these exercises are homework tape script 6.11 listen and check use the words from exercise 1 to complete the sentences we have here <coughs> adjectives annoyed excited tired uh, bo bored interesting uh, sorry trusted worried and so on so let's listen to this exercise tape script 6.12 describing feelings one i went to bed late last night so i'm very tired today two my football team lost again I'm really annoyed. Three. I won £20,000 in the lottery. I'm so excited. Four. I can't find my house keys. I'm really worried. Five. I have nothing to do and nowhere to go. I am so bored. Six. The professor gave a great lecture. I was really interested. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Tapes. Uh, now, uh, listen and check. Practice the conversation. Look again at the text on page 51. Find examples of EDING adjectives. Let's listen to this exercise. Uh, 6.13 uh, Tape script 6.13 1 Did you enjoy the film? No, I didn't. It was boring. Oh, I loved it. It was yeah. really interesting and boring. very funny. I didn't laugh once. 2 How was your exam? Awful. I'm very worried. <coughs> but you worked really hard. I know. I studied until two in the morning, but then I was so tired today I couldn't read the questions. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be OK. Three. That was a great match. Really exciting. Only because your team won. I was bored. But it wasn't boring at all. It was a fantastic game. Well, I didn't enjoy it. And now I'm annoyed because I paid £45 for my ticket. Four. When's Nina's birthday? You mean when was her birthday? It was last Friday, March the 24th. Oh, no. Was she annoyed that I forgot? No, no. She was just worried that you didn't like her anymore. Okay. Every day, English. What's the date? Write the correct word next to the ordinary numbers. 14, second, and so on. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth, twelfth, thirteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and so on. Okay? Let's listen to tape script uh, 6.14. Sorry, sorry. Not this. Tape script 6.14. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Tenth, twelfth, thirteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, twentieth, twenty-second, thirtieth, thirty-first. Tape script. Okay. 
say the months of the year around the class. Work with a pattern and ask and answer the questions about the months, which is the first month, January, and so on. Okay. A practice saying the date when April second March and so on. Tape script six point fifteen. Listen and check. Tape script six point fifteen. What's the date? The first of April. April the first. The second of March. March the second. The seventeenth of September. September the seventeenth. The ninth of November. November the ninth. The twenty ninth of February, nineteen seventy six. December the nineteenth, nineteen eighty three. The third of October, nineteen ninety nine. May the thirty first, two thousand and five. July the fifteenth, twenty fifteen. Tape script six point sixteen. One, October the thirty-first. This is our homework. Two, the twenty-third of June. Three, July the fifteenth. Four, March the fourth, twenty twelve. Five, the eighteenth of February, twenty twenty. Six, the seventeenth of September, nineteen sixty. Okay, seven. Write some important dates for you. Ask and answer the questions about the dates with your partner. Uh, let's practice the, uh, this activity during the discussion on WhatsApp. Thank you for your listening. See you later.